Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 72, Football Manager 19. We're with Barnett FC, currently. And uh, after our G Gillingham win, we drew with Chesterfield 1-1. Uh, Kendra Simmons scored coming out of the half, and we gave up a 68th minute goal. Uh, we beat Rockdale 2-0 in the FA Cup second round. Jordan Stevens and Steven Dua with goals. Bristol Rovers fell 4-2. Kendra Simmons with a goal. Nick Richardson lit it up with a nice little hat trick. Both of them played nine or better. Richardson played a 9-6. 2-2 draw with Newport County. Uh, Mariah Welch with a brace. We gave up the equalizer in stoppage time. That was heartbreaking. And then we be, just beat Oxford 2-0 in the uh, second round of the EFL Trophy Southern section. Uh, Kendra Simmons, Nick Richardson with goals. So currently sitting second in the table, still a game in hand. We've narrowed the margin to two points, and we are plus one goal differential on them. Uh, we've opened up a seven goal differential on Cheltenham, plus three points, plus a game in hand. So we're looking good good right now for automatic promotion it's still pretty early in the season we you know we've, we've got a long way to go um got an interesting email uh a couple of couple about a week or so a week ago uh got a got approached by a reporter and he says so mr Aussie, tell me how it feels to have your name linked to such a high profile job as West Brom Albion. And uh, I went, hmm, that's interesting. So I clicked on them to find out where they were. I've heard of them. I don't know anything about them. Um, but uh, yeah, they're sitting 18th in the Premier League. Uh, so let's take a quick look at staff and the job center. Hey, dude. So, oh, they filled quite a, oh, they filled it. No, they didn't. I've applied. Um, okay, it just moved up. They have filled, they had like five Premier League jobs at one point. Um, but yeah, so West Brom had, was interested in me, allegedly. So I expressed an interest. I uh, declared my interest and uh, I was the number, I was the leading candidate and then the fans declared me their the favorite for the job. So then I said, well, screw it, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and apply. So they're sitting 18th in the table, uh, just two points out of out of uh, behind Newcastle. Uh, I think we can come in and salvage that. I don't think that would be an issue at all. Um, we'll look at some of their players if I get the job. I'm not gonna not gonna you know take the time, but you know going up to the number one league in the world from I don't know. England? No, that's not helping me any. I don't know. I don't know. I can't scroll down here. But that's okay. Anyway, we were actually, uh, well, we, West Brom was actually picked to finish 18th at the start of the season. I don't know what their finances look like, but it does say that they are rich. They're valued at nine hundred and forty million. Excellent facilities. Uh, let's see. Birmingham, Bristol City, Aston Villa, Wolves. All right, so nothing, nothing tying them to Leeds United. I didn't think they had anything. Um, let's see. General, Premier, rich, happy to stay. Couple of legends. Don't see anything in there. Facilities. Oh, my wife must be home. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I've applied for the job. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but we are back uh, right now because we haven't even had an interview. 
So there's been no interview offered. Uh, it's been about two weeks, a uh, week and a half, two weeks. But let's get into, we're playing Millwall today. And uh, so let's see, we are favorites at home in a drizzle. So yeah, so anyway, next episode, I might be somewhere else. We'll see. Uh, pick up where you left off. Oh, and last, I did check the stats before the last match, I think, or after the last match. Um, Kendra and Simmons both had uh, 10 goals, and Steven, or no, Richardson had nine goals, and then uh, Simmons and Dua had 10 goals. Ooh, nice little shot. Come on, boys. Let's uh, get creative. Lloyd. Oh, he had to have been offsides. Thank you. Thank you. Run into the corner. That's fine, you bellend. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You know, even, even, geez, even the side judge could have seen that. God, another set piece? Holy crap. They're just pinging the ball on us. I may end up having to uh, go with a different... Oh, there's Simmons. Oh, what a pass off to Jordan who drills it home. His fifth of the season, Kendra Simmons with a nice assist. And that puts us up 1-0. Very nice play. I was discussing Millwall with uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Tom T, uh, the other day. Um, well, Clayton with the volley. Yes, third goal of the season. Put it in there. Yes. Do the little jump. Point at your fans. Look at the, look at the stands. They're filled up. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. Kake, Dua. Lumped in Pereira. Uh, Pereira has evidently drawn a smidge of attention. He, uh, he's he got a relatively, well, it's like a $300,000 release clause, which if somebody bought him for $300,000, I'd probably be pretty happy to put that in the bank. Um, excellent. Harry Hamblin. Avoid. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I apologize for the yawning. I'm, I'm, this is my second episode I'm recording today. And I had a road trip with work. I left town Monday, drove back Tuesday, and then uh, had a lot of windshield time today as well. So um, just boy, driving just makes me so tired sometimes. All right, Pereira brings it up, finds Awaniwi trying to overlap. Oh, horrible, horrible. All right, Hamblin up to Stevens. Back to Hamblin. Plays it through. Oh, taken down in the box. Richardson puts it home. Number 11. Does the walk, the bully walk. Excellent. Let's go ahead and make a sub out here. Uh, Jordan Stevens is playing well. We'll bring uh, Adam Pete in for him and Harry Hamblin. Let's bring MJ Williams in for him. Excellent. 3 nothing lead. Liking that. We are going to praise... Hooked out. Nice first touch by Ray. Dropped off to Goddard. Laid off to Craig. Moore. Oh, what a save by Hoskins. He goes up to tip it over the bar. That was a dangerous little shot. He had come off, off the line a little bit. 
Head it out. Oh, there's a nice clearance up to Simmons. He's got he's got some support. Oh, what a touch up to Pereira. Knocked away. We'll take the corner. I bet we go short again. No, we don't have anybody short this time. <sighs> Crazy. Richardson. Oh, into the defender. Awaniwi. Pete. Right into the foot of the defender. How did it go? <laughs> he does a slide tackle. Just trying to get the ball blocked. And it goes right to his player at midfield. That's insane. I guarantee West Brom doesn't have players that could do that. Uh, oh, Richardson. Oh, no, he got hurt. All right, well, that's uh, Wilson. Yep, there we go. Not who I wanted to bring on. I wanted to bring on somebody else, but that's okay. I wanted to bring Aya Cavilli on uh, at the back line, but what are you going to do? Craig's playing a 5-9 for them. We must have beaten him a couple of times. All right, we're going to praise. That's a good throw in. Lumped ahead. Goddard off the upright. Oof. All right, Awaniwi dropped in. Wait, what? Oh, I got to get a replay of that, man. No? Oh, that's bollocks. Unless it unless it bounced off of him, I, I don't know. What are you doing there, Tinkers? Oh, nice slide tackle by Francis. I'm going to blow the whistle. Is it my imagination or did the clock just go backwards? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess that's like on television. Oh, we finally got a break in the action. Let's go take a look at that play from 20 minutes ago. Just freak everybody out because I was like, what the hell's happening? The clock went backwards in time. That was weird. Weird. 20 shots on 20 shots, seven on target, 10 off target, eight long shots. Not a big fan of that. So we'll go to the dressing room. We will say you were excellent. Big win over Millwall. They're a ninth in the table. Charlton AFC is next up. We have a couple of should be easy games. So we're actually tied and still have a match in hand. Only two losses on the year. Insane. Uh, Richardson's out three to five weeks. That's bad. 11 goals. Mm. Jordan Stevens tackles, headers. I'm going to say his defensive work was great. I thought that was Phil Hay from uh, the Yorkshire Evening Press. Uh, the, the, the Millwall post in League One? No. Uh, no, I just I just beat them. No comment on these rumors. I mean, we just crushed them. Why would I go to their team, right? Uh, I'm 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 up for a Premier League job, boys. Hello. Oh, they're nineteenth. Y'all better hire me before that gets untenable. I don't want to take that job if you're just going back down to the championship and I'll be there next season. Um. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Uh, so here we go. Yep. Goal leaders. So Richardson, 11 and 15 starts, 11 and 18 for Simmons, 10 and 27 for Dua, 10 and 18 for Mariah Welsh, and 6 and 12 for Aaron Wilson, who was our leading goal scorer last year. So we're actually seeing a little more diversity of scoring this year, which is good. And we're seeing an increase in scoring, which is even better. Um, I do like that. All right, we'll come back. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll come back in just a second for Charlton. 61.35. That would be, what, 5,800. I'm pretty happy with that. 
Uh, we have had a little bit of income from um, cut play this month, Southern Section Regionals, and a couple and, and a, quite a few home games. So three home games so far, and we'll pick up one more. But we'll see you guys back here in a second. We are back. So we are slight underdogs on the road. So I am going to go with this tactic here. Go with the entire team. All right, Bailey's a little bit of a liability at left back. Mm. Tristan Cover is injured. Awaniwi is... 86%, so he needs a rest. Hmm. Kake. All right. We'll go with that. Ayakaviki's going to be in the center. We have uh, Bolter is st uh, Bolter's back. Uh, Hamblin is out injured, which is okay. Uh, prove a point today. All right, we do have a couple of people. Matt Sharpness is an issue. All right, we are in blue. We lost last time we were in blue, so hopefully that is not a telling omen. All right, Bailey. And a Mariah Welch. Crossed in. Stevens. Back to Williams. Oh, he lumps it back. That was shit. Oh. He's got runners to the left. Cross is going to be deadly. Ooh, and the infamous first goal of the season for Andy Irving. Ooh, hold on. Tactics. Yeah, we're playing the right thing. All right. Wanted to make sure I had moved back to a defensive mid rather than uh, attacking mid, which I did. Get creative. Um, over the bar, good. Come on, boys. I mean, we've got shots galore. Boy, they're really standing off on that throw in, weren't they? Joyce. Back to Williams. Into Stevens. Quick touch back to Joyce. Finds Kake outside. Crossed over to Mariah Welch. Crossed in. Cleared out. Controlled. Back in. Oh, come on. Boogity boogity boogity. Come on, keep the pressure on him. There we go. There we go. Gets us the ball back. Stevens. Bailey makes a run. Tipped in. Cleared out. Ugh. Let's get creative here, fellas. I would say we four half chances. Six, oh my god, how are we? Not, okay, you know what we're gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. All right, now you can play defensive center, mid center. All right, Joyce attacking mid center. There we go. So we'll slide you there, we'll go there. Back to the pep talk. Prove a point. Let's give him some uh, some happiness. I have faith in you. Come on, we need this, man. We need this. Hopefully with the number 10, it gives us a little bit more Push forward. 
All right, here's Joyce into Dua. Kake playing around on the edge of the box. And yeah, that was not good. All right, Dua mid right. All right, we're going to bring Jaden Bennett's on for you. I am going to bring Aaron Wilson in for Joyce. And actually, let's move Wilson up top. He's got fresher legs. We'll go that. Try to put some pressure on their goal. Good control by Aya Kaviti, Bailey. Mariah Welch up to Joyce Williams into Joyce in the middle of the field. Find Simmons at that number 10. Kake Stevens puts it in. Number six on the season. Kake with the assist. That was a big goal. <sighs> big goal. We needed that. All right, we're going to have our sub go on. Get creative. Kake, deep into the box, right to the guy in the red shirt. Check him for colorblindness after the game. Oh, the keeper came way off his line to make that play. Actually, a nice save. All right, lumped up, headed down. Stevens turns it the other way. Mariah Welsh, oh, nice touch to the inside. Brings it in. Oh, I thought that was going to be in. Sets up the corner. Come on, boys. Kake, right to the red shirt again. Why is Simmons so far back? He must have been off sides. Uh, okay, hold on. Why is Simmons so far back? Oh, he was way far back for my number 10, wasn't he? Um, okay, I'm going to pause this. I want to go... I want to go here, and then I want to go Kake, defensive right, Neil, yeah, let's bring Thompson in for Kake. Oh, Bennett's, Mariah Welch, into Bailey, in the box. He drives, oh, how did he not score there? Oh, my God. An upright, a deflect, a block, and then a, another kick into the freaking defender. Oh, Wilson, did he knock it away? Do we get a corner there? No? Shit. All right, this is going to this is our last chance here, I think. Push forward. All right, Mariah Welch tries to thread it through. That was a horrible ball. All right, Thompson crossed over to Aya Kaviti. Nice chest down. You don't see that a lot. That was a horrible pass. Oh my God, this gives them a last chance to score. Dope. <laughs> Dempsey, Blake. Back to Dempsey. Through ball. Bailey can, oh, that was a dangerous ball. All right, Bailey controls it, and we have to settle for a draw. That was shit. 24 to 8. 6 to 1 on chances. We got FM'd in that one, I think, boys. Um, 
No. No. Unlucky tonight. Oh, that was crap. All right, so it actually looks like that was our game in hand. Let's finish the day just to see it, make sure they don't. Gary Woods of Cheltenham is going to retire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I tend not to praise anybody when they uh, lose or draw. They usually have to get a win to get anything out of me. All right, competition. All right, so we that was our match in hand, which only gives us a one-point lead, four-goal differential advantage. We're actually six points clear of third, so we're sitting a lot better. All right, we're 24 matches in. 46 games. It's 46 in the championship too, man. And that's that's a long ass season. Let me tell you, that's a lot of games. Just out of curiosity, what's the 46? See, yeah, they only play 38 in the Premier League. I think they ought to have two more teams in the Premier League. <laughs> Just, you know, put them all at about 42 games. That's uh that'd be my thinking, but yeah, anyway. First place, 61 million bucks. <laughs> Look at the parachute payments. If you get sent down, you get 53 million the first year. For, I mean, that's just, I guess that's to almost guarantee that the same clubs are in the premiere all the time. That's, ugh, that's just disappointing. 79,000. For the championship, and only the top two get money. Okay. That's probably a ramble, but this... This could be... This could... I mean, you know, you could keep this as by far the premier division, the Premier League, but you could take so much of this money, say $20 million at at this level, and, you know... 10 million, 5 million, you know, and and maybe even leave these last ones alone. But if if you would take 20 million dollars and break that up among the next two tiers or three tiers, man, that would make that would just give those other all these teams so much ability to, you know, especially when you look at teams like uh you know, like infield town that just, you know, struggle match to match and season to season. Uh, Fort William, granted, not an English club and wouldn't be uh, eligible for any type of, you know, divvying up of, of money monies. But man, that's just crazy, crazy money. Oh, well, anyway, so we're top of the league again, uh, heading into the second half of the season. I'm going to go ahead and play a good stretch. Let's come back. Uh, let's come back to, for Walsall and Oldham because Oldham's actually second right now. If we play Walsall, then we'll have the end of the transfer window. And so we could wrap up transfers and then do the Oldham match. And then that gives us a good run of games uh, to get down into the latter half of the season. And man, look at that 14,000. God. Now we, I mean, we drew twenty six hundred away fans. That's pretty good. Uh, I think we need another stadium increase. <laughs> That's what I think. Anyway, pound that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the season so far. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the West Brom job because this is going to go up Monday. So I probably won't even record until Monday again. Uh, so that'll give you guys a couple of days to try to uh, maybe give me some insight as to what you're thinking about the West Brom job. Uh, and we will see you then. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.